So the 86 Spirits Company has just launched uh, with four spirits to start with, under the philosophy that everything we do, we listen to the bartender, and only the bartender. I found that working um, in other spirits companies, the consumer always came first, and so I really wanted to do something that, where the bartender came first. From every one of these liquids, we tested in cocktails with some of our favorite bartenders to get feedback that we then deliver back to the dist uh, distillers that make these. And we worked with some of the greatest distillers we could find around the world. The Charles Maxwell, eighth generation gin distiller. The Vivanco family of fifth generation Agaveras in the Highlands. This guy, they call him the Michael Jordan of the rum making world, Don Pancho. He uh, worked in Cuba making rum for 35 years and he's been making rum in Panama now for 20. A total badass in the rum world. So the idea was pairing up great distillers with the input of bartenders for how these work in a mixed drinks. So it meant testing rums and daiquiris and mojitos, uh, testing these uh, the vodka in martinis and Moscow meals, the gin obviously there's a million different cocktails and so on. And during this process we got quite uh, tipsy. But we also formulated some great spirits for mixing. Then in the process of listening to bartenders, not only was the liquid important, of course the liquid, liquid is the most important thing, the bartender was very, very uh, passionate that we give it to them in a bottle that can actually use, something that would fit in a well. So we then enlisted a guy that worked in ergonomic bottle design for water bottles to work on a bottle with bartenders uh, and on a bottle design for the 86 company. It's tapered at the bottom just for that comfort zone. If someone has a smaller hand behind the bar, then we just gave this this ridge here. There is a, um, a little neck bridge there which uh, a lot of the American bartenders called the London Pour, but it was just a comfort zone. We created a ridge just at the top of the uh, lip of the neck, so pulling it up from the speed rail would be easier. Of course, you need a great long neck. That's the one uh, single most important thing a bartender asks for. But we used a 150-year-old design. It's a bottle design that was being created to hold the liquids and get consistent pours. And finally, and I say finally, there's a couple more features, but we put accurate measurements in there which is great if you want to batch cocktails, it's great if for inventory control, um, it's really um, good if you want to give recipes to barbacks, you know, simple syrup recipes. It's not so good if you want to steal those, so sorry about that. And um, just to encourage the, the, um, the reuse of the bottles, we actually reinforce the labels so that they just peel off in one go. Um, so really, I guess if you listen to a bartender, you're always gonna get some really good feedback. We got amazing feedback for our distillers on the liquids about how they formulate in mixing in mixed cocktails. We got some great feedback on the bottle, and um, and really that's what the eighty six company is about. It's about trying to create spirits that listen to the needs of the person that pours, not one shot for themselves when they get home after a long day at work, but the guy that pours or the girl that pours hundreds and hundreds of shots and cocktails for people every night. So that's what the 86 company is about. I hope we're not just about four spirits. I hope that in the long run, we're gonna launch a whole, a whole lot more. But this is the first, uh, the first round of 86 spirits for your enjoyment. Uh, have a good time with them, please.